Are you curious about the use of CBD in pets? I'm Dr. M. Welcome to BMC. Join me today as we dive into the research that we have in this topic and we will also discuss the situations where it is or is not appropriate to use CBD. So join me. You'll learn something today. It seems to be a fad for the past number of years that people will give CBD to their cats and their dogs for all sorts of reasons. Now this is an interesting fad to have popped up and it seems to be, as many fads in veterinary medicine are, secondary to a resurgence of popularity of CBD in the human species. There is some evidence in the human species that supports the use of some compounds from cannabis in a few different situations. For chronic pain, there might be currently the most support although it's still unclear if the benefits outweigh the side effects that some people experience and we still do need more research in this area. As is often the case, we do have less research on the topic in veterinary medicine. The majority of the research studies are on very small numbers of patients and they have a very high risk of bias. The perception by a lot of people is that CBD is a safe and effective panacea for any and everything. What's interesting is that this perception is not in any way backed up by research or scientific evidence. It's also important that we discuss the CBD pet market a little bit. It depends on which article you read and who is making the predictions, but currently the pet market for CBD products is growing. Everyone I talk to in the vet med world, and myself included, do get asked about it frequently. So because this is such a popular topic, let's cover the concerns that I have about the use of CBD along with when it might be appropriate to use it. One of the most major concerns I have about CBD products is the fact that they are essentially unregulated. This is not a problem unique to CBD, this is a problem with all supplements. And there's research studies where people will take different supplements, there's even a research study where this was done on 29 CBD products and they will test what's inside the product compared to what's on the label. They did find that all of them were low in THC, which is great due to the toxicity concerns. There were incredibly variable amounts of CBD from product to product. Some of the products didn't even list how much CBD was supposed to be in the product anywhere, which is horrifying to me. 22 out of the 29 products that were tested did have a third party COI. Here's a big red flag. Only one third or 10 were actually within 10% of what the label said was actually inside the product. That's appalling. Also worrisome was that heavy metal contaminants were found in four of the 29 products. The highest and most common contamination was lead. The conclusion is that the products that were analyzed had highly variable contents. This is a major problem. This doesn't even delve into the whole aspect of if the CBD is actually bioavailable to the animal. Can the dog or cat actually use the CBD that's in the product? That's a whole nother topic that hasn't even been researched yet. Let's actually cover what the research tells us about using CBD. The majority of the research that we have is on dogs. The systematic review and meta-analysis decided that only five studies were actually good enough to include. They have a caveat that there is an incredibly high risk of bias in these studies. The treatment duration for these studies varied from 4 to 12 weeks and in total less than 200 dogs with arthritis were being treated with various types of CBD. The good thing is that this meta-analysis did conclude that over the short term it's pretty unlikely that a dog would have serious side effects if they are given an appropriate dose of CBD. However, in the studies, there are dogs that do have side effects, and there are occasional case reports of dogs having more serious side effects, serious enough that they've been withdrawn from the study because these studies 
went for a maximum of 12 weeks. We don't know what CBD would do to these dogs over the long term. We also don't know how would CBD interact with other medications. There was one study where dogs were given CBD alone or trazodone alone or CBD paired with trazodone and in that study the CBD seemed to render the trazodone ineffective and so is that possible that the CBD does that for other medications as well? The not so good news for CBD is that the study findings on whether or not it's helpful for osteoarthritis pain in dogs is very mixed. In the study that was double-blinded where every dog had some time on CBD and some time off CBD, that study concluded that there was no change or helpfulness from giving the dogs CBD. The overall conclusion is that we don't currently have research demonstrating that CBD is helpful at treating anything at this point. The area that is showing the most promise is in helping to treat arthritis pain in dogs, but even there the evidence is definitely not overwhelming or conclusive. As is often the case, we have even less research for our cats, and this is particularly concerning because cats tend to be more sensitive to a lot of different medications than our dogs, and they do seem to be more sensitive to side effects from CBD at this point. Where does this leave us? It's biologically plausible that CBD might be helpful for a small number of situations, like with treating chronic pain. However, we need to remember that medications that work for humans are not always successful in helping dogs and cats. At this point, for cats, I would not recommend using these products at all. It is well documented that the cats are more susceptible to side effects and we just don't have any research showing efficacy for any reason for our cats to be receiving CBD. And with our dogs, we shouldn't be giving it for the vast majority of cases. It should be reserved for those specific cases where proven products that do reduce arthritis pain are already being used and we're at the point where quality of life is suffering and we're considering euthanasia. In that scenario, I would consider talking about trialing CBD with your veterinarian, but it's definitely not appropriate to reach for it first thing. It's also not appropriate to be using it without monitoring liver function and working closely with your veterinarian. You also need to be incredibly cautious about where you get the CBD product from. I'm very hopeful that all this interest will drive more research into the topic. I am concerned though that the popularity of the products will just end up resulting in unscrupulous companies pushing untested, unregulated, unproven products on people who live with pets. And I will keep watching for more research. It's something that we badly need. So do not jump to CBD to treat any and everything. We definitely cannot say that giving CBD is a benign thing to be doing. And so it would be wise to use your funds on treatments that we have research on instead. I put up a new video most Friday Fridays, and I love to read your comments to prove I read all of them. I highlight a new one every week. I absolutely cannot wait to see you in the video next week. And if you have a topic you want me to discuss, leave it in the comments. Bye. To suggest that some cabin cabinoid, oh my goodness.